You're looking at a live picture of the singer Chris Brown's house in Tarzana, California. It's part of L.A. We've been following a very strange, uh, protracted confrontation between Brown and police, uh, an allegation that he flew into a rage and pointed a gun at a woman who fled his house. Police have uh, descended. They've got a search warrant. Uh, they're interviewing everyone. And we are interviewing Kevin Frazier, co-host of Entertainment Tonight, uh, who has talked to Brown before in the past. Um, and Kevin, you know, it's interesting to, to point out that the house that we're looking at is not the house where Chris Brown famously had his altercation with Rihanna, the 2009 assault that he admitted to. He had to move in the aftermath of that. This is essentially a new start for him. Creatively, reputationally, the whole gambit, uh, does it hurt him to have something like this happen in his new oasis? Well, let me say two things. Number one, let's back up. And that confrontation with Rihanna took place in a car in a residential neighborhood near the city of Los Angeles in, Han in the Hancock Park area, a wealthy area in Los Angeles. And so um, his old house, his last house, was in Hollywood. And he had a lot of problems with his neighbors because he was painting murals on the walls of his house that they didn't like. And um, Chris's art has been shown in galleries, and so... It is, you know, there is an audience out there who likes that art and will purchase that art. Um, at the same time, he moved a little bit further out because he also had an issue with someone breaking into the house. So he's moved further out. But when I say further out, he's moved further out. But there is a compound when you get that far out, Tarzana, Hidden Hills, um, where you have to go through a gate to get into the area and a lot of stars live in that hidden hills area where you have to go through a gate it's a gated community you can't just walk up and i think that would have aided chris moore because in this situation what we're hearing is is that there were some people in his home some invited some uninvited and it was two ladies who were uninvited that were the two that then it spun into this alleged he um pulling a gun on one of those ladies pointing it at her and forcing her out of his house now we don't know what happened, but we do know that so far they have cooperated with police. Once police had a um, search warrant, that Chris and the people inside the house have cooperated with police. We also know that Mark Garagos, his lawyer who represented him in the Rihanna case, showed up there and um, was on the scene with Chris. And now Chris has been inside as far as we know. There is a report from the AP that he came outside for a little while, but we do know he's been inside that house all day long. Uh, Kevin, it's hard to know that he, it's hard to imagine that he came out because you know we've had the camera there on the front door. If he came out, That's it would have been a back door or a side door. And of course, there are no other houses immediately next door to him. It's a, it's a a wide open area. Uh, so you know, it's interesting that Ray J has already come forward. Ray J, another singer, he was inside the house apparently when this happened, and he's come to Chris Brown's defense. Uh, are you surprised that he did so? And uh, what no, do you, because. Yeah. Okay, think about what happened to Ray J. So Ray J was one of the invited guests at Chris Brown's house. There was some kind of altercation as Ray J tried to leave. He was stopped by police at the bottom of that long driveway. He was put in handcuffs. His car was seized and taken after it was searched by the police. And he, um, according to reports, Ubered home. Ray J was quick to say that this is an overreaction, that a made-up story is now getting this kind of attention and that he supports Chris Brown 100%. So you have to stop and look at that's Ray J. I'm sure we will hear from other people who are inside this house and maybe eventually we'll hear from the person who filed this report or at least called police saying that Chris Brown pulled a gun on them. But Ray J is 100% on Chris Brown's side saying nothing happened and that this is an overreaction. Kevin, I know you've got to go run and do some reporting on this uh, on your own, but before you go, just uh, one more question. You're the co-host sure. of Entertainment Tonight. You followed stories like this in the past very closely. Based on what we know now, where do you think this lands? I think that they'll work everything out. They, I, I honestly do believe that they will work things out. And remember, I, I mean, Chris has had a, a long run with the legal system, so there are all kinds of issues that could come into play when police search his house. But I think at the end of the day that there won't be any charges filed, and I do believe that this was one of those instances where there's an overreaction. At the same time, this goes back to saying to Chris Brown what so many people in Hollywood and so many stars have tried to say to him is that you have to be careful who's coming in your house, who's around. You have to have the security that can oversee everything at all times, and you can't just be a big kid and let this be a free-for-all. 
All right, Kevin Frazier, co-host of Entertainment Tonight. Thank you very much, sir. Of course.